welcome back to Drexel Update here on Inside Ambition. Before we get started, make sure that you go ahead and follow us on all of our social media. Today, I'm talking with Julia Farley, a 2021 Drexel graduate. Hi, Julia. How are you? Hi, I'm doing great. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. It's summer is here. <laughs> I feel you on that. Uh, so why don't you start off uh, by telling us a little bit about yourself? Sure. I am an animation and visual effects major, fine arts minor. So I came to Drexel in 2017 and I just had my last class this week and I'll be graduating on the 11th. Awesome. So uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about your program and kind of what you studied while you were here? Definitely. So I was drawn to Drexel because of the 3D animation program. It's really special. I think we have an incredible um, just department. We have so many amazing professors that I've been through. Milady Bridges is our, advise, um, our advisor and our department head, and she is incredible. Like she's someone who's worked on Avengers films. We've had people who worked on like all of these amazing, incredible films, and they have shared all of their knowledge and skills and resources with us. So I was lucky enough to have so many amazing opportunities um, in my four years. I'm so grateful that I did this program because it's really like nothing other, like I would not have had any of these experiences had I done another program. So for example, I was part of the Drex in LA uh, summer program, which was basically a three month internship in my, after my sophomore year. And that was amazing. I worked for um, the Jim Henson company on a Disney junior show, which was incredible experience. I made amazing connections that led me to come back for my co-op the next year. Um, after my junior year, and I completed my co-op in Los Angeles during the 2020 pandemic. Um, but it, I wouldn't trade it for the world because, again, an amazing experience. I loved my co-op. I got to work um, in my programs, doing exactly what I like, like really honing my skills and building my reel. And so now I'm so excited to graduate <laughs> and share like all of these projects that I've been working on. I spent the past year and a half working with my um, eight to 10 person senior project team. And we made a original 3D animated short film. It's called Light Years Apart by Space Cam. It's on YouTube. So please check it out because it took so much work and I'm so proud of it. It was like the culmination of everything that we did at Drexel, taking all your skills, all those classes, and then having all of those incredible advisors lead you along the way to, um, we made a, a four minute film that we're submitting to like student Oscars and the rookies and we're just so proud and I'm so proud to have been part of the team and to be sharing this yeah like the cherry on top this is everything that college was made for and I'm so excited to be releasing our film oh that is so amazing it sounds like such a great project so I'm definitely checking it out and I hope everyone else does too um so you touched a little bit on you know the the pandemic but how how did that overall um, affect your college experience, you think? Well, it, it completely changed my college experience. I mean, I did my, uh, I, I was lucky that I got to do freshman and sophomore junior year in person. And then when it was time for my co-op, um, I actually flew to Los Angeles to start my co-op in March, 2020, like right at the beginning. So then um, my co-op, I was working remotely with my team. We were doing Zoom meetings every day for our projects. That was definitely a huge change. Um, you know, the, of course, everyone had to experience going from completely in person. And as an animation student, you have your labs, you have this community there for you. And then suddenly you're locked in your room with your MacBook Pro <laughs> and no one on your team, none of the regular support and, you know, tech like technical support too. So it was uh, just the, the biggest change. It was very, I mean, very isolating. It was definitely more of a struggle. Um, but I'm very grateful for especially my senior project team space camp. We met three or four times a week on zoom. And that's, that's what that connection, that communication and that back and forth all the time really helped us have an easy production. So we did our entire senior project digitally. We basically only had a few meetings before the pandemic and that was to talk about the story. And then once the pandemic hit, we were in production and we completed the entire thing. None of us saw each other for the whole senior year. None of us stepped foot in a computer lab. We were all at home. Most of us not even in Philadelphia at that. <laughs> and it was, it was crazy. It was not at all what I thought my senior project would be like. Um, but 
in, in one way, it was disappointing that I didn't get to see my team. But in another way, it was incredible because we made this amazing project. And I wonder, like, would we have been able to dedicate that much if, you know, we'd been in person and balancing all these other things? Um, so, it, you know, as unfortunate as it was, I feel lucky that I was able to really, like, complete my senior year with everything that I'd wanted to complete my senior film and, and really have that like sense of pride and like, I did it. <laughs> yeah, that's great. It certainly was uh, a challenging year. You certainly have certain expectations, but I'm glad that it ended up, you know, being great in the end. Um, so uh, now that you're finished with school, do you have any plans going forward about working in the industry? Absolutely. I, totally loved Los Angeles. Like I said, I did the Drexel in LA program and then I went there for co-op. So I absolutely intend to pursue a career in animation and visual effects. And I'm going to move to LA at the end of the summer. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited to reconnect with all of the connection, you know, the people that I met through my co-op and the people that I met through other experiences in LA and to be part of like the film industry and the movie industry. And it, it makes me so excited. I think I have so much to look forward to. Oh, well, that's great. Um, so what would you say was probably the most valuable thing that you learned from your time at Drexel? Ooh, very good. <laughs> hmm. um, definitely, I think that coming into college, I felt very independent. And I felt that um, if there's a problem, I will solve it and I will learn how to solve it. And even if that takes me 10 hours doing it on my own, I wanna do it. And I realized very quickly as an animation student that you cannot do everything. <laughs> there are some things that you cannot do. There are some things that other people are gonna be able to do better than you, that they're gonna be able to give you advice. They will teach you 10 hours of that in 10 minutes. And I really, 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 I think the biggest lesson I learned was just ask for help. Don't feel bad asking for help. Ask questions when you're confused. Your teachers are going to answer them. Your friends are more than happy to help you and to guide you along. Um, I think I really thought that there was a lot of competition between me and my peers, but then really we were all on the same team. And when it came time for senior project too, those people who had helped me and who maybe I had helped in return, we all came together and made the project together. And so that was incredible too, that now we had all, grown our skills and could put them all to good use and like share and make this project. And it was a project that I would never been able to do one person. Like you needed those eight people and you needed everyone working together and helping each other. And, oh, here's a faster way of doing that. Or did you know that you could, you know, go on this website and get it quicker? So asking for help, definitely the biggest, best lesson I learned in college. Well, that's great. Well, Julia, congratulations on graduating. I hope you've thoroughly enjoyed your experience at Drexel. Thank you for being on the show and best of luck in LA. Uh, you know, I really look forward. Hopefully we see some great things from you. So thanks for being on the show. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. All right. And that's it for Drexel update this week. Make sure that you go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.